Yes, sir. Well, again, it seems to me that the, the problem remains in the in infrastructure, although, yes. as you point out, in, in Europe, especially Germany, you have this parallel structure in it. You know, the future looks bright. We're all going to be electric by 2030. And you have 116 hydrogen stations in California. And that's basically due to Arnold Schwarzenegger and the electric or the, the Hydrogen 7 fleet in California and support for that. Uh, what is your feedback from the people who are trying to survive with their uh, hydrogen fuel cell cars in Southern California and who are not very happy for those particular investments? Because the infrastructure, although it's sort of there, is very iffy, very spotty. It's sort of fourth world country hoping that the thing is open and has any hydrogen when you get there. Yeah, um, the uh, the hydrogen uh, stations in California um, seem to have some reliability issue um, <laughs> and some supply issue. Um, I, I we've been there and we we heard the complaints about that, um, but it's not rocket science. The the stations in in Germany are all operated by a, uh, a company called um, H2 Mobility, and um, they do all the maintenance and our uptimes and, and reliability numbers are, are way higher than in California. So it is actually doable to operate a hydrogen fueling station network at a high um, reliability and a high uptime um, scenario. The, uh, the trick will be fueling stations that serve trucks, buses and cars. And the demand actually will come from the commercial vehicles because a lot of commercial vehicles have dedicated routes um, it's more planable. They have a higher uptake. You know, each truck takes 50 to 70 kilograms of hydrogen versus five or six for a car, plus a truck drives every day for longer distances. So the uh, hydrogen fueling stations of the future will be built primarily for the commercial vehicles, but it's not that difficult to add the passenger side of things to those fueling stations. And we think that, at least what we see in Europe and also in Asia, that the fueling stations will be built to serve um, the commercial vehicles and then also the passenger cars. And the passenger cars kind of follow the commercial vehicle sector. And from what we've heard in California as well is that the new stations that are being built, um, they're mainly for, for the commercial vehicles. Um, we also heard some plans that they want to build a corridor um, all the way going to um, Oregon and maybe even Washington State and possibly into Vancouver um, to have a hydrogen corridor for, for trucks. And then we think that the station network will be built out also for, for passenger cars.